What do you want, Mason? You shouldn't have come back here. Well, I am back. Where's Harden? Are you crazy? There's a price on your head. You think I don't know that? Hopalong Cassidy and his deputies have been on my trail for the last hundred miles. They're only a ten minute ride behind me now. Harden's gotta hide me out. Wait a minute. He's in here. He's over at the bar. Then go get him. Hurry up. All right. But don't you show yourself till I find him. I told you never to come back here. There was no other place left to go. I'm at the end of my rope. That's just where you belong. You don't know what it's like to be hunted and hounded with never a minute's rest. My face is plastered on every post office and livery stable west of the Pecos. And such a filthy face, too. Harden, you've got to hide me out for a while. You owe me that much. I'm not sheltering, murderess. I'm a respectable cattleman. You dirty dog. Don't draw that gun. Now get out of here. Get out before we shoot you and collect the reward ourselves. All right, Hardin. But if those deputies take me alive, I'll spill the works. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, Dirk. Mason. Take him off their hands. Right. Fred! Oh, uh, say, listen, uh, Sam, I didn't get my money's worth out of that bottle. Uh, could I get a refund? Refund? What do you want, the Battle of Bull Run? That's Dirk Mason they just captured. Oh, it is, huh? Dirk. Oh, is it? Nice work, strangers. You can turn the prison mode to me right now. Just a minute. Who are you? I'm Joe Brass, head of the Vigilance Committee, and we know how to deal with Dirk Mason. We're not turning this man over to any mob. Here he is, Bobby. Why, Dirk Mason, did you capture him? Yeah, but he's all yours now, Sheriff, and I hope your jail's strong enough to hold him. Why put him in jail? We know who this killer is. Let's string him up right now. That's Wait right, turn him over to us. Come on, let's go. Take the better rope. Hold it. Come on, turn him over. I had enough of your lynchings, Brass, and you'll pay with your life for the next one. All right, don't let anybody move. Now, don't try to stop me, Sheriff. I know I'm going to die. But Jeb Harden is going out with me. 
You're all witnesses. It was in self-defense. Yeah, sure it was. Self-defense against what? Well, why shouldn't I? I have a claim on this reward. You can't stick your finger in our pie. I have more right to it than you have. You haven't got a leg to stand on. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. I can't issue any reward money unless the claimants reach an agreement. That's right. Me and the postmaster here are duty-bound to hold up the reward till all disputes are settled. Just a moment, Sheriff. You haven't heard the full story. Mason broke into my office just before he was captured and tried to hold me up. Brass was there and pulled a gun on him and drove him into the street. At that moment, these men came along. You might say we flushed the bird for them. Yeah, but you seem more anxious to kill him than capture him. Well, it says there, wanted dead or alive. Oh, you killed him, all right. After we turned him over to the sheriff. That's true. If you hadn't been so around to lynch Mason, it wouldn't have been necessary to shoot him. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. There's no use squabbling over the price in a dead man's head. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll relinquish our rights to the reward if you'll invest the $5,000 in this community. That all right with you, Joe? Well, I, uh... What you see, Mr. Cassidy, we help get rid of a dangerous criminal, and so our community is entitled to some of the benefits. Now, you get the money, and we get your investment. What do you say? I'll talk it over with my partners. I'll let you know later. Now, we might as well face the facts. We weren't thinking about a reward when we started out looking for Mason, were we? Well, we got it coming to us, and there's no sense letting Harden and Brass horn in. We might have to. I've seen this happen before. Usually when they start fighting about a reward, nobody gets it. Yeah, but there's nothing in this town worth investing unless we buy a saloon or a restaurant. Restaurant? Say, that's an idea. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. We'd make a lot of money with the restaurant with you around, wouldn't we? <laughs> oh, but seriously. Haven't you both forgotten something we've always wanted? What's that? A little ranch of our own. A ranch of our own? Say. Don't you think it's about time we laid our guns aside and quit wandering around like three homeless strays? Wouldn't you like a little peace and quiet? A roof over your head that you can call your own? Nobody to fire you? And ride range on our own land. And raise ham and eggs? Ah, oh, you gotta go for the idea, huh? Well, <laughs> you know me, Hoppy. All I ask is six square meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds swell, but do you think there's any land around here for sale? Well, we might ask Harden. He seems to own all the land in the valley. Come on. Harden, then. He's inside. But listen, if you give me a quarter of the reward, we'll leave him out of it. One side, ten horn. How do you like that? Well, come in, gentlemen. Come right in. Please be seated, Mr. Casty. Thank you. You have reached a decision. Yes, we've decided to invest our reward money in the valley. Good. That is, if we can find some good ranch land. Well, every square foot of the valley is good ranch land. The trouble is, there's not much of it that's for sale. Uh, about the only place that's available is the Whitlock Ranch. That costs about $10,000. $10,000? $10, yes. <laughs> that's just twice as much as we have. No one expects you to pay cash. Here's an inventory, Mr. Cassidy. That's a nice, snug little ranch house. 300 head of good stock cattle, and plenty of good pasture land. Hmm. $5,000 will let you take up the first mortgage. And considering the high price of beef these days, you should be able to pay off the balance in a couple of years. Well, if that's true, why couldn't Whitlock make a go of it? Well, there are two Whitlocks, a brother and a sister. Is she young? Yeah. Trouble is, they knew nothing about raising cattle and cared less. They let the place run down and got behind in their payments. And uh, you hold the mortgage? Yes. Yeah. And I was about to foreclose. But if you'd like to take up the mortgage yourselves, it's yours. Well, we'll look the place over. If it's what you say it is, maybe we can make a deal. Fine, fine. Oh, by the way, it might be a good idea if we found out where the ranch is. Well, it's on the left-hand side of the road, about four miles south of town. You can't miss it. We'll find it. See you later. Goodbye. I don't get it, Jeb. I thought you wanted to grab the Whitlock Ranch for yourself. I do want it. First, let them sink their money into it. As long as I control the water rights, they'll lose their money and the ranch. Try it. Thanks a lot. Look at that. 
That's what I call cattle country. That's good land, all right. It's pretty dry. The grass is turning brown. Look at that stream. Looks pretty well laid out. Well, you didn't expect it to be perfect, did you? I suppose if it was, we wouldn't have the fun of improving it. Now, wait a minute, dear. I'd like to look at the ranch house before we make our minds up. <laughs> It'll have a kitchen if that's what you're worrying about. <laughs> <laughs> certainly knows how to fix up a parlor nice and cozy. Is that a sign she's good looking? Now, what's that got to do with it? She don't go with a ranch, you know. Ah, oh, Miss Whitlock, you can bring me my pipe and slippers. Ha, <laughs> ha, Hey, get your spurs off that couch. What happened? You all right? Uh, hi, Hoppy. <laughs> Look what I found. Chicken. I might have known it. Let's have it. That reminds me, we haven't eaten since yesterday. Oh. Well, this is not a very nice thing to do, but I am hungry. That's the trouble with you, Hoppy. You worry too much about your conscience, not enough about your stomach. Yeah? Well, <laughs> I'll take care of that right now. Mm-hmm. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who are they, Lynn? Do you suppose they're Hardin's men? I don't know. But if they've come to throw us off, we're going to throw them off. You know, if you had three hands, you'd choke yourself to death. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Say, ain't this wonderful? There's no place like home. No, even if it's somebody else's. <laughs> ah, who are you? What are you doing here? Why, well, I'm... Uh... I'm Hopalong Cassidy. This is Johnny Travers, and this is California Carlson. Where are you? Howdy. See, um, Hardin sent yes, us... Yes, I know. He sent you to throw us out. You starve us out, too, it seems. Oh, uh, please, we'll gladly pay you for the chicken, but uh, that isn't exactly what we came to buy. See, Hardin told us you were trying to get rid of the place. Trying to get rid of it? I've been doing everything I could to hang on to it. Oh, well, if that's the case, I'm, I'm sorry we barged it in. See, we have $5,000 we wanted to invest, and, and he told us this place was for sale. I'm sorry, I... We'd better get out of here. I'm sorry about the chicken. I couldn't resist it. Mr. Cassidy? Yes? How much money did you say you had? $5,000. Lynn, wouldn't it be better to lose half the ranch than all of it? Well, what do you mean? We'll never get another loan, you know it. In another month, Harden will take the place over. So would it be better to form a 50-50 partnership with these men? I don't believe your brother likes the idea, Miss Whitlock. Besides, we don't want to take advantage of your hard luck. Oh, but you'd be helping us. Lynn can't run the ranch alone, and we haven't money to hire hands. So I think we'd better accept three working partners. Are you friends of Harden or Joe Brass? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. Not after beating him out of $5,000 reward money. <laughs> Well, any man who can do that ought to be a good partner. <laughs> yeah, sit down, Cassidy. Maybe we can strike up a bargain. Thanks. They'll probably back out when they hear the bad news. We've already seen the bad news. There isn't enough water. Oh, there's plenty of water. You see, the, the river that feeds the whole valley has got two forks, but Hardin's dammed up the headwaters. And you have to pay him for the water. And his rates are so high, you'd think milk flowed in that river instead of water. <laughs> None of us small ranchers can make any money if we have to buy our water. We can't afford to do that unless we sell our cattle. So the whole thing's a vicious circle. Mm. If he don't pay your bills, he takes your land. He does worse than that. He shuts off the water and our cattle die of thirst. 
Why don't you complain to the Cattlemen's Association? Well, Hardin controls that, too. Oh. So if you expect to get rich in this valley, Mr. Cassidy, the cards are stacked against you. <laughs> well, getting rich isn't exactly what I had in mind. I just want a place to settle down. Hardin's water rates may be a little high, but I'm ready to pay a high price for a little peace and quiet. Of course, I don't know how my partners feel about it. How about it, Johnny? Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure, let's form a partnership. California? Uh, did you cook that chicken, miss? Yes. You get a partner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got three partners. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, we've got a lot of chores to do. We'll save time if we divide them up. Johnny, you go over to the telegraph office and wire resignations to the federal marshal. All right. I'll tell him we can find some other deputies to chase us criminals from now on. And I'll tell him... Just so long as you tell him in ten words. Well, I will, because I don't want to hang around town all day. i got plenty to keep me busy out the ranch. I noticed that. <laughs> Wait a minute. i got a job for you, too. I want you to take this $500 into Hardin's office and pay the water bill. I'll do that, Hoppy. i got to go to the bank and open the account. See. <laughs> My throat's awful dry. What if I go across the way and sort of refresh the inner man, huh? All right, I'll see you at the ranch later. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're quenching the inner man, don't forget to pay the water bill. Ha, ha, ha. Howdy. Hi, Nevin. Give me a double chaser. What do you want to do, take a bath? Bad. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, you ain't had a drink yet. Well, doggone it, so I ain't. And I couldn't get here fast enough to get one. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Say, ain't that one of the fellas that won that reward? Yeah. I bet he's got a bankroll on him, too. If you can't hook him, well, can't you really lost your touch? Sarsaparilla. Hello there. Howdy. Uh, say, ain't you the fellow that captured that killer? Ah, oh, shucks, it weren't nothing. Say, ain't you the fellow that tripped me up? Oh, well, I was just trying to stay out of the fight, that's all. Oh, oh you sure was anxious to get into that ruckus. I, I never seen a fellow with that much gumption. Oh, I'm a battler. Yeah. Uh, Sam, give me a friend here a drink. Got one already. Well, then I'll have one on you, thanks. Give me a drink. <clears throat> Understand you fellas are buying into the Whitlock Ranch. Yep. Me and my pals are going to settle down and take life easy. Yeah. Oh, that's an awful smart buy. Sure is. Awful smart. Naturally bought the mineral rights, too, huh? Mineral? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. What for? You didn't buy the mineral rights? No. My goodness, I thought no. that you was a fellow that knew a fortune when you seen it. Well, usually do. Yeah. Uh, Say, now listen. Now, mum's a word. Oh, sure, sure. Mum's the word. What word? Say, come on over here, brother. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to you. I do for you. Well, come on. Uh... All right, today. Uh, say, now, wait a minute, brother. I got something I want you to see. I think I've got something here that you're going to be interested in. You see here now? Look at here. Never mind that. Just look here. See that, see that end of climb there? That there? Yeah, that's right. Now, look here. See where this axle plane? Now, that shows evidence of uh, cestiferous stratification. Does it? Well, that's Can you imagine it? Yeah. Uh, do you see where this luber shelf is superimposed over herogenous mycolite all down in through there, you see? Well, uh, there it is. Oh, well, that's what I mean. What's them lines for? Oh, well, now, all this is a geological survey of the Whitlock Ranch. Oh, well, I made the thing myself. You did? Yeah. Uh, saying here's something else you're going to be interested in. Wait a minute. I got a patrologist's report here that bears out everything I've been telling you. Now, look two? Patrologist. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you see here it says, your soil samples give definite proof of the presence of petroleum. Petroleum. That's right. Petroleum. You mean oil? Oil. Hey, brother, there's enough oil under that Whitlock Ranch to lubricate the entire planetary system. Well, bust my galaxies. Sure. Okay, right. Wait a minute. If there's oil there, why don't Harden step in and take it over? That's because...
because he doesn't know anything about it. He don't, uh, No. Now, look, if I was to go to him and try to buy the mineral rights from him, why, he'd catch on a second. Sure he would. Sure. I'm not going to go dump a fortune in Harden's lap, you know. Of course, we ain't. No. Uh, say, uh, good. What about the drilling tools? Oh, huh? you don't have to worry about that. Now, I've got a rig and a drill of my own. You can use those. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that is, if you'll cut me in for an eighth of the royalties. Sure, I'll cut you in. You think an eighth's enough? Well, make it two eighths. Make it one eighth. Yeah. Well, what can I lose? A million barrels of oil, ten dollars a barrel. A million ba a ten? Ten million dollars? That's right. Gosh. It's a deal. A yard. Five hundred. Well, here's to us. Say, doggone it, you know. I was supposed to pay the water bill with that. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, brother. Don't worry about water. No. You see, in about a month's time from now, you're going to have enough money to buy the Amazon River. <laughs> the Amazon? Hmm. What's that? Well, uh, just make it the Mississippi. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Here's yours. We got something, huh? <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go, huh? <laughs> $500 hey. a day. Uh, uh, uh. Say, listen, don't you think you'd better go ahead and prepare your pals for the shock? No, no. Oh, no, well, now, listen, now, wait a minute. This may be an awful surprise to them, you know. That's what I want to do is surprise them. Huh? Will they be tickled pink? Oh, huh? come on, let's get going. Huh? All right. Come on. Four hundred. Come on, get out of here. Oh, oh. Happy Johnny! Look for the bronc. From now on, you can call me King Carlson, the oil typhoon. Say, come on, I want you to meet Wildcat Willie, the best oil sniffer this side of Pennsylvania. What's this stuff in the wagon? Drilling tools, Hoppy. I just bought the exclusive rights to the biggest oil field in the whole state. Look at them tools, eh? Look at the field. California. Yeah. Did you pay the water bill? Didn't have to. Harden gave us a 30-day extension on the debt. Did he put it in writing? In writing? Uh, well, no, not exactly, but he gave me his word of honor. His word of honor. Hardin's word isn't worth any more than those oil rights you've been talking about. Oh, something always happens. Now we have money to pay for the water, and Hardin knows it. That's our money you just threw away. You know, you might have spoken to us before investing in a thing like this. Well, doggone it, Hoppy, I was doing it for all of us. Say, you'll sing another tune when we strike it rich. Strike it rich. You couldn't drill more than 100 feet with that rig you've got there, and even if you could, you wouldn't strike oil if you dug halfway to China. Now, wait a minute. You ain't seen the futurological report. You mean his reports? His reports. Give me them, I'll show them. Well, every rancher in the valley knows that man's an oil swindler. Now, right there. Oil swindler? Yeah. When we strike it rich. <laughs> you mean... So you want to drill, do you? You better get off the ranch before you get drilled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, folks, I guess I'll be getting along. Oh, no, you ain't. You're going to stay here. You're going to set up that rig and sink a well. Oh, well, now, listen, brother. I didn't say I'd do any work. No, but you're going to. If you want to stay above ground, you better find something below. Get off of that wagon. Get off of that. Yeah, you get... can use mine. Thanks. Uh, get off of that <laughs> wagon. Pull this back to it. Not like this. Look, I'm not a dirt scratcher. I'm a cattleman. If I gotta break my back, I wanna do it on a horse. I know, you love the range, particularly the one in my kitchen. Well, if you really wanna know, it's because you're there. We'll have no kitchen sitters around here. If you wanna eat, you gotta work. What about California? He's been sitting in that oil derrick for two weeks. He never does a lick of work. He eats more than all of us put together. California promised me a barrel of oil for every meal I gave him. If that well produces less than 50 barrels a day, I'll be getting swindled. Sure, he got swindled, so now he's swindling us. 
I'm going to tell him off. What you stopping for? Partner, we've been working here now two weeks, and we've only drilled 40 feet. At this rate, we won't reach you all till doomsday. Your dead home ain't far off. You don't keep drilling. I know, but I haven't had a minute's rest. You'll rest in peace. If that hole's dry, keep her going. Yes, sir. Now what? Uh, could I have a little water, please? Thank you. Hey, California. I'm warning you for the last time. Huh? Shut that thing off. Thank you. Either you do some work around the ranch or you don't eat. I gotta be here at the drilling. And I gotta eat, too. Say, a fine pal you are, trying to start me out, huh? Don't call me a pal. I'm through with you. Just wait until Hoppy and Lynn get back. Here they come now. Who's that with him? That's Mr. Varney. He owns the ranch south of ours. What's the matter? It's hard to shut off the water. The creek's already dry. My cattle have been without water for two days. We're going up to the dam now and see if we can get them to open the spillways. Well, I'm going with you. I'll finish that garden patch when I get back. So, Harden gave you his word of honor he wouldn't shut off the water, huh? You want to come along, California? I'd like to, Hoppy, but water ain't my business. Oil's my racket. She might gush any minute. All right, you old faker. When you get hungry, just try and eat that oil well. Come on, come on, quit stalling, get to work. No word. Faker. and some of his vigilantes, Hoppy. Yeah, and they look like they're ready for trouble. Yes, and they're gonna get it, too. Hey! What's the matter, boys? Thirsty? No, but our cattle are. And we just want to remind you that Hardin promised us a 30-day extension on our water rights. And he must have changed his mind, because if you want water, you'll have to pay for it. You mean we'll fight for it. My herd is dying of thirst. Hardin will be glad to take the cattle off your hands. 50 cents on the dollar. Let me tell you, Blash, you'll never kill my cattle, because I'll take that water. Shut it off. Come on. What'd you back down for, Hoppy? Because what Brass said is true. If we take that water by force, Harden can have us arrested for theft. Uh, I guess we're licked. For the time being. Looks like we'll have to sell our cattle now. Oh, we ought to pay them off in lead. Wait a minute, Johnny. Remember, we bought into this ranch for a little peace and quiet.
So long, boys. See you later, Barney. You know, Hoppy, every time I look at that pile of junk, I get so mad I can't even see straight. And California won't raise a hand to help. We ought to kick him off the ranch. Oh, quit picking on him. He's having fun. Hey, this is really a two-man job, you know. Well, there's two of us here. Turn the water on? No. We're gonna have to sell our cattle, thanks to California. Would you like to help us with the roundup, or are you too tired? No, no, I ain't too tired. Do I get paid for it? I need some new drilling pipe. Paid for it? After eating us out of house and home? That's the last straw. Now, you can tear down that contraption and get off our property. I ain't on your property. I'm suspended in midair. You're either gonna get off or get blasted off. And that goes for you, too, Wildcat. Don't pay no attention to him. Keep on working. What's that, Hoppy? Well, it's your well, you ought to know. It's just a noise of some kind. My golly, it's still there. What? <laughs> A well is more like an underground lake, enough to water a thousand head of cattle. Yeah, and irrigate a thousand acres to boot. I never saw such luck. First they win a reward, then they discover a well. Yeah, and we want to share that luck with all of you. You bring your cattle over to our place and use all the water you want. Well, that's mighty generous of you, Hoppy, but I'm afraid that isn't going to set too well with Harden. No. That's what we're going to find out right now. How did I know they were going to strike water? Besides, you thought it was a great idea. Please don't remind me. Listen, Jeb, suppose I poison the well or something. Well, you'll be quiet, Brass. Why should we poison the well when I can get it from them legally? I still have them over a barrel. They haven't a sink. Speak of the devil. Come in, gentlemen. Congratulations. I hear you struck a bonanza. Yeah. One of your crooked deals finally boomeranged. Boomerang? You've got me all wrong. I'm very glad there's a new source of water in the valley. You might as well be, because we're not buying a drop of water from you from now on. What about the water you've already used and haven't paid for? We're bringing 50 head of cattle into town for shipment. You can arrange the deal and take what we owe you out of the price we get. <laughs> I couldn't sell your cattle for love nor money. There's no demand. The market is glutted. That's a lie. You've been selling your own cattle right along. Well, perhaps... Wait I... a minute, Harden. You're the head of the Cattlemen's Association here. It's your duty to see that every rancher gets a fair share of the market. That's not quite right, Mr. Cassidy. It is my duty to see that the cattle come up to the specifications demanded by the buyers. If my herd is the only good beef in the valley, that's your hard luck. Well, how can we fatten our cattle on the water rations you give us? Oh, why argue with him? There's better ways to handle men. Wait a minute. We're going to sell our cattle if we have to start our own association to do it. But first, I want to pay off this debt. We'll give you a hundred head of cattle for what we owe you. I won't take your cattle. What are you talking about? Cattle is legal tender for debts anywhere in the West. But not your cattle. I want your ranch and I'm going to get it. I'm afraid not, Harden. I'm calling a meeting of every rancher in the valley. 
then we'll see how much support you have for day. If he gets all the ranches working together, we're going to have a fight on our hands. I don't believe the ranchers will support Mr. Casty, especially when they find out he's a cattle rustler. Cattle rustler? Why, Jeb, Cassidy ain't never stole anything. Not yet. We're going to see that he does. I had no idea there was any water in this valley. You did. Huh? Look at that shape. I filled her overnight. Yeah, and overnight California becomes a hero. Says he knew all along he was going to hit water. You did? Uh, oh, uh, of course you did. I just wanted to surprise you. Uh, 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 and that ain't all. I'll bet there's a teasing water all over this valley. Now, wait a minute. Just because you hit water here, don't start bragging. I ain't bragging, Hoppy. I'll tell you what I'll do. Me and my pal sink a well for any rancher that wants one. If there ain't water, we won't charge him a cent. Well, that sounds fair enough. Say, if this works out, we've got heart and licked. You bet we have. Here come the others. Let's get the meeting started, huh? All right. Yeah. Hey, look, boys. Why, well, there's Harden now with his vigilantes. Let him come. We want a showdown anyhow. Yeah. I guess he brought his vigilantes along just to maintain order. <laughs> I didn't get an invitation to your meeting. However, there's some old business I want to bring up. I'm glad you came and brought your gang, since you're the subject of this meeting. Gentlemen, this valley has some of the finest cattle land in the country. Yet your stock is dying and your land's blowing away. And why? All because of one man, Jeb Harden. He shuts our water off and lets our pasture turn to dust. And if we try to sell our cattle, he tells us there's no market for them. Yet he's been selling his own right along. That's right, Hoppy. Yes, and that's true of the vigilantes, too. Oh, yes, the vigilantes. Hardin tells us he formed that little group to protect us from outlaws and to maintain law and order. And who are the vigilantes? A bunch of gunmen hired by him to clean out anybody that gets in his way. And Hardin can clean us out, too, gentlemen. He can break all of us one by one unless we stick together. We're with you, Hoppy. We'll start our own association, market our own cattle. Sink our own wells. We don't need to buy Hardin's water anymore. Oh, wait a minute, gentlemen. Don't let Casty stampede you until you hear what I have to say. He used a lot of fine-sounding words. Well, I've never known a crook that didn't. However, there's one thing he said that's quite true. I did refuse to market his stock. I refused because I found out half the Whitlock herd is stolen cattle. I suppose you can prove that statement. I certainly can. This hide came off a steer the Lynn Whitlock shipped to Kansas City last year. The stockyards returned it to me. Take a good look at it, Mr. Varney. There's the original brand, the Bar V. You can see where it's been enlarged to a box W by use of a running iron. Whitlock and Cassidy pose as the small rancher's friends. But that doesn't stop them from stealing your cattle. You haven't proved anything, Hardin. Anybody can mark up a hide, and you probably did it yourself. So that's your story, is it? Then you won't object if we take a look at the herd. Certainly not. You'll find some of Varney's cattle at the water hole, and they've still got his brand on them. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look. Well, then, 
It's some kind of a frame-up, Hoppy. Well, I didn't do it. Oh, I know you didn't. But we got to be ready for trouble. If Harden has planted stolen cattle in that herd, we've practically got a rope around our neck. Let's go see. There's one. Go get him, Red. Hoppy? Yes? Wildcat here knows Harden and Brass better than any of us. They planned this frame up, didn't they? Oh, well, now, Miss Lucy, now, I'm just an innocent bystander. Come on, wag your tongue. Well, if you want the truth, Jeb Harden had double-crossed himself, he got half a chance. Oh, we've known that all along. It's yours, all right, Mr. Barney. Somebody's worked him over with the running iron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're the one that was going to help the little fellows, eh? We'll see that you get justice, Mr. Varney. But, but not your kind of justice. You'll have to come with us, Cassidy. I'll see you get a fair trial. I can imagine the kind of a trial we'd get. We wouldn't even live till we got to the jail. Well, whether you... Get off those horses! Let that calf loose. Come on, get down there! Drop your gun! Yours, too. I don't want to believe they're guilty, Miss Lucy, but if those men are innocent, they should have given themselves up. But Harden would have lynched them, you know that. He framed my brother today, and tomorrow he'll frame you. I've got no use for Harden and his gang either, Miss Lucy. But your brother and his partners are fugitives. Yes, and we'll all be if we're siding with them now. You're afraid of them. Oh, no, we're not. We'll all fight Harden if we can get the evidence against him. But there's no sense trying to fight him as long as he stays within the law. It's even steeper on the other side. They can knock us off like clay pigeons. All right, leave two men here. The rest of us will ride back to town. But they might crawl out of that hole and get away. What of it? If they run away, they'll only prove the guilt. If they stay here, it'll be open season for anyone named Whitlock, Travers, or Cassidy. Red, Baldy, you stay here. Yeah. Hey, they're leaving two men on guard. Yeah. Well, we'll stay here till it gets dark, then we'll make a break for it. Where we go, Hoppy? We're fair game for anybody. Back to the ranch. 
and have a talk with Wildcat. Miss Hoppy, why didn't they include me in this frame-up? Well, my goodness, that's because you're not a cattle man, huh? Uh, say, pass me that, will you, please? You know, when you got mixed up in this oil business, you certainly got your head out of the noose. To hear you talk, you'd think Lynn and Hoppy and Johnny were really guilty. Why don't you... Wait a minute. Attention. Johnny, are you hurt? Oh, I'm all right. We make a bad target on a dark night. <laughs> you shouldn't have come. The vigilantes might be watching the house. We made sure no one was around before we rode in. We're only going to be here a few minutes. And I want to have a talk with Wildcat. Now, I want you to tell me everything you know about Jeb Harden and Joe Brass. Oh, well, now, listen, I don't know nothing. I, uh... Wildcat, you promised to go straight. Oh, yes, I know, but not straight across Harden's path. Uh, that's suicide. But look what's happened to you. Yeah, I know. And we haven't got a chance unless we get some evidence against Harden. Mm. Oh, well, now, I don't know whether this is evidence or not, but um, uh, you remember Dirk Mason? You know, the fellow, the killer that you fellas captured? Yeah, what about him? He used to work for Jeb Harden. Oh, well, that's no surprise. What else? Uh, well, one of the vigilantes told me uh, that Joe Brass had to kill Dirk Mason to keep him from squealing on Jeb Harden. Keep him from squealing? What about? Well, uh, oh, well, now, I wouldn't know about that. I... Well, that's a great help. You can't prove anything on that kind of evidence. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't it right after that mail robbery that Harden quit marketing the rancher's cattle? Well, yes, the cattle contracts didn't come through. Harden told the ranchers that all the stockyards weren't buying any cows this year. And you took their word for it. Oh, we had to. You see, Harden's head of the association, so naturally he does all the bargaining. Yeah, but suppose the cattle contracts were in that stolen mail bag. Mason couldn't have used them. But Harden could. You mean to say Harden filled those contracts himself? Well, he must have. He's been selling his cattle right along, hasn't he? You bet he has. And he could have told the buyers that all our cattle were stolen. And they'd have believed him. What about that, Wildcat? Does that make sense? Well, anything you accuse Harden of makes sense. But how are you going to prove it? No, I guess the only thing we can do is break into his office and see what we can find. Well, that's impossible. The town's full of vigilantes. Why well, they'd shoot you on sight. And we'll have to find a way to get the vigilantes out of town. Here's what we'll do. There's a little clump of trees just north of town. We'll meet there at sunrise. Well, if it isn't the old guy's the king himself, where's your cattle thieving friends? I want to see Harden. Step right inside. Get out. I'm busy. I get a message for you from Cassidy and Whitlock. Where are they? They're ready to give themselves up. That is, uh, on one condition. Well? They'll surrender if you bring along the sheriff and guarantee him safe conduct to the jail. All right. I'll guarantee there'll be no lynching. Now, where are they? They're waiting at those big rocks, three miles north of town. Wait here. Brass. Hello, boys. Never mind about the sheriff. Just round up the men and go get them. Right. And Brass. It might be better if you shot them for attempting to escape. Leave it to me. Come on, boys. Go inside, please. Sure. Sit down. Yeah. In case anything goes wrong, you'll make a nice hostage to turn over to the vigilantes. California's all right.
Lock that door, Johnny. Get in there. Sit down here. Get him tied up. Hurry up, California. No fresh tracks. Something tells me we've been tricked. Come on. Where are they? Here they are, Hoppy. Good. Hoppy. Lynn. Yeah, Hoppy, what you find? Enough here to send Hardin and Brass to the pen for 20 years. These are the cattle contracts sent to you, Barney, and the other ranchers. And stolen from United States mail. We go find any friends see this evidence. Come on. Mason's job? Yeah. It's us for them now. They get that evidence to the ranches. We're finished. Come on. those over and show them to Varney. Give the rest of them to Wildcat and let him show them the ranches west of town. All right. Wait a minute. You hide here till the vigilantes go by. We're going to draw them to the ranch. That's where I want you to bring the posse. Come on. Stopped him for the time being. 
Hey, take a look at them contracts. Those were found in Hardin's office. California, watch that back door. All right now. I'm getting low on ammunition. So am I. They seem to have plenty. Get up on your feet. Lynn, are you all right? Yes, dear. Johnny! Get going! Both of them are out. Blast you, you. All right, get them out of here. Come on, come on, Hart. Come on, get out. Come on, get out of here. Hurry right up. Get out of here. Every one of you. Comfortable? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. That's good. <laughs> Fine, thanks. All right. Oh. Mm. There. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Saying, uh, while I'm away, you make another survey of the valley. I still think there's oil around here. You do? Positive. Well, so long. So long. Mm. Brother, there is one born every minute. Thanks, Lynn. Well, that's all right, Hoppy. I'm sure sorry you got that telegram. Oh, so am I in a way, but Buck's having outlaw trouble, and after all, he is a friend of ours. We can't very well disappoint him. And I thought we was gonna settle down. 
Uh, maybe when we get this job finished, we can come back here and start in where we left off. <laughs> I understand, Hoppy. You know, I never did expect you to hibernate for long. Not him. <laughs> you don't seem to mind housework as much as you used to, Jenny. Well, Lucy, it, it, it's all tied up with something I've been wanting to ask you. What is it? Well, our business partnerships worked out fine, but... but it, can't take the place of... I know. It can't take the place of fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Oh, Lucy, it's not that. I just don't think you're ready to settle down, Johnny. Well, Hoppy might need me, and if I collect another reward, well, maybe... Uh... Goodbye, Lucy. Goodbye, Charlotte. Come on, kid. Bye, Hoppy. Bye, Bye, California. Well, if I collect another... What am I saying? <gasps> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>